What's going on guys, Master Turkey here, back with another YouTuber request. This time, someone's requested going over how to install homebrew apps on the Nintendo Switch. So, that can be done of two ways. One, you can download them off the internet from a reputable site. This time, I'm on GBA Temp. Secondly, you can use the App Store, the homebrew app store. But what's great about this is you have to download it from the internet to be able to use it, right? So we're going to show how to do both methods right now. The first one, we're going to download this homebrew app store from GBA Temp, put it on a micro USD card that then you're going to input into your Switch. So it's going to navigate you to this GitHub. Go ahead and download the homebrew app store from the GitHub. Go ahead and extract this. We'll be putting this on the micro USD shortly. Okay, so I've input my micro USB into a dongle that allows my computer to read SD cards. And as you can see, this SD card is formatted for XFAT. That's EXFAT. You'll need to format it in that way. You can also Google to find out how to do that. But for right now, I'm just going to show you putting the App Store app on the micro SD. Okay, so you're going to want to navigate to the folder that's called Switch, and then from there you'll be able to drag and drop the App Store contents from the zip that we downloaded into that folder. Now, I already have that on here, so I'm going to just go ahead and skip this process because obviously I don't want to overwrite something that may even have a newer version on my Switch. So go ahead and drag and drop this into the Switch folder like we talked about, and then we're going to go ahead and boot up the Nintendo Switch and take a look at it. Now, if you're jailbroken like me on the Executor Switch OS, the OS X, you'll want to navigate to the album. Then we're going to go over to, and you should have your HP App Store in there, so go ahead and launch that. Wait for it to load. Now once you're in the Homebrew App Store, you can just install whatever you want. So go ahead and navigate to whatever you think is suits your fancy and install it. It's just as easy as that. It actually allows you to update things as well. I would suggest installing HB Menu uh, because certain things either require being launched through that or launched through that in a more stable fashion. Also, certain things do not play in docked mode, like Mystery of Solaris, the Legend of Zelda sequel, the SNES sequel, does not play in docked mode. It'll just crash. Um, in the same way that uh, Half-Life also tends to do that as well. There's quite a few things that you'll just have to play around with, but lots of stuff in the App Store, emulators, games. I like that it allows you to update things so that you can update things and stay up to date with whatever you want. You can find Tomb Raider on there, Half-Life, Doom, Quake, Quake 2, Wolfenstein. If you take a look at any of my homebrew videos, there's a playlist that I have already set up for Nintendo Switch. That has a lot of the best homebrew that's out right now. Feel free to take a look at that. I'll probably put a card up in the corner here. So again, that's pretty easy and pretty straightforward. This was a very quick video. Someone asked for it, so I made sure to make it. So I hope this helps you out, buddy. If you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to leave a comment. Myself or others will help you out. There's also a Discord server that I started that you could ask for help in as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.